Hello! Welcome back. This is Kench 1913 and we are Let's Playing Dragon Warrior Saloon Quest. Corneco, the final hope. In the last episode... Oh, shit. In the last episode, we made it pretty far. Uh, yeah, we're almost at the end. Honestly, 27 is the final level. I don't think I'm going to be able to make it, but we'll see. I think I don't have enough healing, unfortunately. You know, I would rather the dragon spew hot fire. If I can't do this in the next couple of turns, I'll probably just head back up. I mean, I was able to level up this gear pretty good. Yeah, I'd rather you spew fire. Oops. You know, I didn't even notice the amount of the, um, the damage I took, so... I wasn't even paying attention. Alright, we're at 93. Here's what I'm gonna do. Make a save. Whoops. Let's change the state and save it. There we go. Ooh. I got me a nice shield. Shield 10. Let's see, plus five. Twelve. All right, so it's better to have this shield on. But I get to keep that. That's pretty nice. All right, let's do a save file. Yep, sorry. Actually, before we go down, I'm just going to... All right. And this. Getting a save state. Yeah, you gotta kill these bomb crates. Yeah, before they do that. And they leave you with nothing. I'm not even doing a save state. And yeah, these eyeballs are the worst. Because they confuse you. No, they're bad. I don't know if I have anything. That protects from... From... from I don't think I have anything that helps protect from any of that shit. Alright, let, let's meld that. And... Let's not do that. Stop moving, I don't care, just heal me up. 
I'll take being... I will... I will take being paralyzed. Alright, Torneco, come on, man. That's... You gotta beat this guy. Let's see. You gotta beat this guy, Torneco. Goddamn eyeballs. This is just a bunch of shit. Stairs. No stairs here. Oh god. Ah, you know what? This is gonna end in failure. Let's head down here and see what's down here. Nothing. just using this like round as reconnaissance all right so there's really no reason to go left or right you might as well just go straight this way yeah because that one guy warped me. he warped me over here a good thing you did that Yay. Of course. Damn it. We got a lot of progress there.
plum. You know what? Oh, damn it. Damn it, I was gonna... Try. All right. Uh. Ah. Uh, ooh. No. 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 All right. We only have two more floors to go. One more. Get down to the next floor. Let's. I guess I'm just gonna save it. Here, as long as I find the floor, I almost want to see if this is a big room. Now, oh, there's the stairs, but I'm going to die. Not worth it. Right, let's check and see what's over here. I honestly didn't think you could hit me from that far away. Alright, after I kill this guy, I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna do this. And we're gonna go this way. I think I already went this way, didn't I? Wouldn't that be great if this was where the stairs were? Yes! Arrows! I have long range attack again. Alright, now we're looking alright. What do you mean Dragon Advance to level 2? Ah, god damn it. Oh, because the, the dragon... The dragon killed... Oh. Because the dragon killed that creature... And I'm just gonna hurl this. And take the steel, whatever the hell this is. I'm gonna save my game. I'm getting hungry, whatever. We're almost near the end. We're almost near the end. You know what, let's try this. Oh good. Oh great. Okay, so we know that that's that. that. Okay, I don't know if I should stop and make a save. What's this? Copper. Ah, eh, whatever. I'll make a save. 
Hopefully the end is over here. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead. I think the stairs are gonna be up here. Yes. Yeah. Alright, so here's what's gonna happen. Save it, and then run. Oh, I guess, uh... Oh no. Oh no. Let's load this. Ah, screw it, I'm down. One magic dungeon. Alright. The vile monsters are on this floor. Alright, let's see if I can defeat. Ooh, this might. Only two damage? That's not gonna work. Wave. Yeah, I gotta do it this way. Oh, that's the dark evil chest. Okay. That's good to know. So the dark evil chest is right next to me. Unfortunately, the... How about let's do a retry? Let's see if I start somewhere not shitty. Okay. Alright, this is much better. I'm actually gonna use save state. Dude, that thing kicks. Ouch. It doesn't look like I'm going to be able to do this, unless I use the cheats, but I don't want to. I mean, I'm already cheating to holy hell. You know what? Save state in here. 
Let me see if there's any cheats I could use, because I don't feel like coming all the way down here, so excuse me for a second. All right, well, I am, I did some experimenting before I looked into the cheating thing, but I just want to say that I'm dead. That's not what I want to do. Anyways, unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. So, as the old saying go, he who runs away will live to fight another day. Unfortunately, we gotta leave. Unfortunately. Which is a shame. We were at the very bottom. But, I do want to show you some things, okay? Before we head back into the dungeon, alright? So give me just a moment here. Nope. Alright, here we go. So, as you can see, I have used the cheat code to add infinite health. And let me just show you what happens when you hit these guys. So yeah, I'm dead. That's not what I wanted. This is what I want. Alright, so I'm gonna try and hit this guy. Damn it. Pretty much what happens, I would love to show you, but it's not gonna happen, is it? Okay, as you can see, if you do not kill... As you can see, if you do not kill the dark chest, or the dark evil chest, that, like smoke cloud thing with the eyeball, you will die. You will die, uh, unfortunately. And, uh, yeah, you have to do it, you have to hit it and kill it in one swing, or it doesn't count. So, what I'm gonna do is load the game. I'm actually gonna take it from where I am right here. And I am gonna get the hell out of here. Once again, he runs... He who runs away lives to fight another day, which is not bad, but now we're done. So, unfortunately, we can't do anything else, or can we? One thing that I did do off screen was I was able to figure out how to get the cheats working. As you saw, I had 999 health, and honestly, I am going to... I'm actually going to use the cheats. I know some people were saying some people were saying some stuff about they wouldn't mind if uh, they would not begrudge me if I did use said cheats uh, so that's what I'm going to do um, and then unfortunately if you don't like it I apologize but that's just the way the cookie crumbles unfortunately um, so yeah, I am going to put on a few cheats in order to help me get through, and I, I actually, I'm going to show them to you, because, um, I want to show you exactly what I plan on doing, and I know this is probably going to be like, oh man, you got, you know, why'd you have to do that, you know, you, you can't just go through the thing without, without having, you know, all this crap going on, but I'm going to actually show you what I'm going to do, so I will be right back. Alright, I am back. I put on the cheats. As you can see, I have infinite gold. I have infinite HP. And if we come to... Well, I also have infinite belly, which means our hunger. So, I will never be sated in my quest for food. Anyways, I am going to use a couple of things. I'm going to deposit... I'm going to deposit this much money. So, we're going, and, and, and I know if you get mad at me because I'm using cheats, but honestly, I tried to go through legit, I probably would have, you know, here's the thing, I'd probably have to go through the magic cave a few times in order to get various items, so I'm not doing that, because I just kind of want to go through the game, and I'm not, and I'm not going to, I'm going to not cheat for the remainder of the game, hopefully, I, I just want to or after this part. So, we deposited five... 
This is 10 million. No. Two, three, 10 grand in there. Or 100 grand. We got three bl blank scrolls. The first one was, uh, the first one was, um, the first one was a joy ring, which I'm going to show you what all this stuff is. Um, and now we've reached 20 or 200, and we get a hunger X ring, which is nice. And now, 400 grand, he, we get a club, and you're like, what the hell is the club? Well, we'll see. We get 800, we get leather, what the hell is leather, really? And then finally, we get, we deposited, let's see, 1.5 million. And we received a clone, a vacuum, and a prayer. And that's it. That's all. That's all she wrote there. And then yeah, and it can now pull up to 70 items, but we're gonna put more into it. And there we go. So let's look at our stuff. So we got a joy ring, which is you earn one experience point every turn, which pretty much every. A turn is pretty much walking, swinging, doing all that stuff, so you gain one experience for that. Blank are, they can be given the name of any scroll that you've already used, which is pretty nice. Hunger X is stops hunger totally, which is really nice. Club plus 30, so equipped it to improve your attack power. You have your leather shield plus 30 as well. The clone one, the clones items, you have to throw them in there, but you can only do it when you're in the dungeon. Vacuums all items out of a pot without smashing it. So you can use that to get items out of your pot. And then this raises the usage of staves and pots. So, now that we've done that, let us move. We're going to head over to the melding shop. And what I'm going to do... Yeah, we're going to meld some things. This guy. Let's meld. Alright, so I'm going to meld the steel. This is the base item. And I want to meld the club 30. Won't rust or inflicts double damage on dragon monsters. I'm honestly gonna do the double dra double dragon thing. Yes. And now we're going to meld the metal babble. And I'm gonna meld the steel. And we're gonna put the won't rust. And there we go, we melded it. And now we're going to meld the metal babble. I think this is what I want to do. Won't rust or suppress his hunger. I'm just going to put won't rust because the suppress hunger thing doesn't matter because I'm going to have the infinite belly on. And yeah, I think that's it. That's all we can melt. So now we have some really amazing equipment. As you can see. And now let us go back to our house and we're going to we're going to uh <clears throat> We're gonna head on in and we're gonna store some items. I'm gonna store the joy because I'm not gonna need it. I'm gonna store the hunger as well. And I'm gonna store all this stuff as well. Now let's see if I can with do I have any good items that I can withdraw? Not really. Alright, so we're actually, you know what? Let me do a save. And continue, because I have not made a save in a while. Uh, a regular save. So, yeah, I understand if you'd be mad at me because I'm cheating, but, um. 
I wanna, I wanna be able to beat this thing. And, and honestly, I was getting my, I was trying to do it where I just used the infinite health, and I was getting my ass handed to me, like really bad. You know what? While I'm here, let's go to the magic shop and just get our magic, uh, or get my level up to five, I guess. But yeah, I was just getting my ass handed to me, and it wasn't, it wasn't pleasant, is what I'm getting at. Sure, it raised me at level 5. And there we go, so we start on level 5. And I don't have any staves. So there we go. That'd be kind of... I don't want to be warped any dungeon. Alright, so... Here's the thing. I think I'm gonna meet you... I'm not gonna show going down all the way again. So what I'm gonna do is I will meet you... Uh, I will meet you... <clears throat> down... Probably floor 26 or something. And then we will beat the evil dungeon the evil chest dungeon so yeah again i apologize for having to cheat i know some people said that they don't mind that i cheated so i figured i would at least give it a try i mean i know you probably have to go back multiple times in order to beat it but i don't have that kind of time so i've been kenshin 1913 and i want to thank you for watching and hopefully you'll be around for the next episode Bye bye <laughs>